An estimated one-third of the world's population is currently infected with tuberculosis. This pandemic is caused by a tiny bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. But fortunately, it doesn't mean that the world has two billion people suffering from tuberculosis. In most cases, the bacterium is neutralized by the body. When someone with tuberculosis coughs, they expel tiny drops of saliva full of bacteria that can infect people nearby. The bacteria then continue their journey down the respiratory tract and into the lungs. That person is then infected with TB. The body detects the invasion and mobilizes its immune cells, including macrophages, whose job it is to neutralize the bacteria. If this process of neutralization works, the person will have latent tuberculosis. This means that they are infected with the bacterium, but are not actually ill. However, in 5% of cases, especially young children, the immune system loses the battle, and the bacteria multiply. Then the person becomes sick. Unfortunately, latent tuberculosis sometimes awakens. This can happen several months or even years later, especially in adults with weak immune systems, people who are HIV positive, who are undergoing chemotherapy. When somebody has a cough, has difficulty breathing, has suffered from chest pain for at least three weeks, has a fever, night sweats, and has lost a lot of weight, the doctor may well suspect pulmonary tuberculosis. There are other, more rare, types of tuberculosis. The bacteria may spread, via the bloodstream or the lymphatic system, to other parts of the body. The lymph nodes, joints, digestive system, central nervous system, the liver, or the heart, where they wreak havoc. <laughs> 